91 Bathroom TV. Hey guys, so you're looking to start your freshman year at Cal Poly Pomona. Congrats, you're going to a great school. I mean, at least I think anyway. And you're looking for a place to live. Well, I would suggest living on campus first of all, and that's what this video is about. Even if you live 25 minutes away from campus in Whittier or live in Sacramento, it's best to live on campus for your first year. There is a first year housing requirement if you live outside a 30 mile radius of the school anyway, but you can get out of that. If you're going to commute, calculate the savings in gas and time it will cost you and see if it's worth living on campus. It isn't the best living situation, but for the experience, community, and accessibility to everything else around campus, it's well worth it. It's a great environment to make friends, learn about your school, and easy to get to places on campus. If you think about living on campus uh, with a car, I would advise you against it until your third quarter. Unless you have to go home often or have a job on campus. Just because it actually hinders your motivation to learn about the campus and to be involved in activities and events at school. If you live on campus, being in a car can take away from that campus life aspect. And that's the main reason on why on why you should live on campus. It does, however, help you learn where your school is located and what cool places surround it and where things are at. Now let's go for the dome guy, that's what you're here for. So first of all, there are red brick buildings that honestly look like a prison. They were built in the 1960s anyway, so I guess why. They have laundry rooms which have about three washers and dryers, um, which are on the first floor. There's also a large lounge area where there's a pool table, foosball, um, table tennis. Um, there's also a study room, which is a medium-sized room that can hold usually around 20 people with some whiteboards. Inside that room is also another smaller study room for people that need seclusion, and that can usually like fit four to five people. Um, second is the gray buildings, which have a lounge as well, but are really small and only has like a pool table that doubles as a table tennis table. Um, study lounges are a joke though. Um, they can really only fit 10 people max, which is really sad. Um, dorm prices, you know, um, triples and doubles range from about 13000 to 15000 or 4500 a quarter. Okay, so now simplifying from the red big buildings to the gray buildings. You're wondering which hall is best, which one's better than another? Well, I have a list of those, all six of those, from best to worst, um, but it's really up to you and based on your needs and what lifestyle you're trying to live in the dorms. So first of all is going to be Alamitos. So Alamitos is the red bit building. Um, I would say that's one of the best halls in my opinion, and that's the one where I stayed for my orientation, just because it was the easiest to make friends and probably a bunch of them. Everyone does have their own groups of cliques as well, um, but it's a great mix of people. Very much diverse crowd. And it's a, a hall where a lot of College of Letters, Arts, and Social Science majors reside. Um, people are usually in the lobby really, really, really late, up to 3 in the morning at one point. And it's really close to the parking lot, and it's about like an 11 minute walk from the main campus. So, you just gotta work out a little bit on your walk to the main campus. Aliso would be the second best hall in my opinion, and it's usually the party dorm. Um, it's very lively here, just like Alamitos, and it's easy to make friends with. You're just probably going to be in a large group or clique. Um, people are always in the lobby again, but it is the farthest away from campus, and it's around like a 30, 13 minute walk to the main campus. So the third dorm on my list is going to be Montecito. I like Montecito a lot, it's a very nice hall, and I can imagine living there. Just that you're gonna make a really smaller, I would say, group of friends. Um, it's quieter than the other two dorms, but there's usually people downstairs. And really, really smart, hella smart people live in this hall because it's where the Honors College resides on the third floor. 
um, you're always gonna have somebody to help you um, and they're really smart so I mean you can I guess rely on them in case you have some last minute questions and you can't you know go to office hours it's about a nine minute walk from the main campus and the College of Agriculture kind of resides there and Sanitas it's, it's an alright dorm most people usually pick it because it's really close to the dining hall um, and then sorority girls my year lived there um, it's about a seven minute walk from the main campus and the College of Business Administration kind of lives there. But lastly, we have the grave buildings, um, which are like a five pyramid, which have like five pyramid shaped halls. Um, Cedritos is the first one. Um, not many people hang around here or come here, but it, you can make friends. It's just, I would say, a little bit harder to. Um, it's about a six minute walk from the main campus, um, and it's also very close to the dining hall as well. The College of Science resides here, but like I said before, the study halls and the lobbies are a joke. They're really small. You really can't really have as much fun or study as much like the other dorms. And one of the last dorms is Palmitas, and it is a great big building. Um, don't dorm here unless you, you want to be alone. I'm just kidding. Now it's just really hard to kind of make friends here, and the friends that you make are going to be different, you know, like nerds, but it doesn't really matter, right? Um, it's about a four minute walk from the main campus and then the College of Engineering um, resides here. Okay, so now on to food guys, everyone's favorite topic. So when you live on campus, you're required to have a meal plan. Um, there's actually three. There is a 10 a week, 14 a week, and then 19 a week. You get about $125 in meal points to spend pretty much anywhere on food on campus. And there's an option to cash out, which is basically trading a meal for meal points to purchase an item. The thing about cashing out is that you can only do it in certain places. So for example, you can cash out at the Den or Pony Express locations in the business building for about $6.20 and then in the Vista Market for about $6.50. It's considerably less than the average meal at Elo, um, which is about $10. Speaking of Elo, that's the campus dining hall or Los Olivos. There's a variety of options including American food, Mongolian grill, Hispanic food, pizza, and a deli. Many of my friends got tired of the food fast though, um, so I recommend eating everything sparingly, taking your time, or just eating somewhere else on campus. Um, some of the food isn't cooked well just because it needs to be served fast for the awful lot of people that come doing like lunchtime and then 6 p.m. for dinner. Um, there's a lot of other places on campus you can eat though. Um, so there's like a simpler Denny's, which is the Den, um, which kind of serves like sandwiches, burgers, and burritos I was talking about earlier. And then there's the Pony Express, which is located in the CLA building or the Pony building um, in the campus or in the Pet Campus Marketplace or in the business building. And then the Vista Market as well, which is like a gas station market with some snacks. Okay, so now time for some tips for the dorms to help you guys out. So number one is first, bring slippers. Slippers are very important, especially in the shower, because you don't know what's been going on on the floor. Um, I know I a couple of times didn't wear slippers just to be honest cuz you know but I would say it's really gross you know with girls with the hair and then guys it's just it's just sad um, so just make sure to bring some slippers and always make sure that the curtain is closed when you're um, taking a shower you know some people might not know that it's fully closed if it's like you know just a little bit open and then boom that's not gonna be a happy place to uh, ha ha happy thing to see um, meet as many people as you can. That's what the dorms are for, to meet a bunch of people, to make a lot of friends, um, especially make friends in each one of your classes. Even though it might not seem like it's the best place to make friends or like, because like your class is like only like once a week, make it just in case you might not come to class or you get sick. Uh, you need to know what's going on and making friends really helps you with that. Manage your time wisely. I don't know how much I gotta stress this enough. You gotta be really good at organizing your fun time and then your study time, okay? So make sure you got the list of all your classes and, and the classes and times and how much study time you're gonna put. I mean, study hours you're gonna put into those classes, and then when are your breaks? When are you gonna go on adventures with your friends? When are you gonna just sleep? I don't know. Make make a you know organization between study and fun time, and then ask a lot of questions. Ask as many questions as you can. Okay? And ask many people. Don't just ask one person if you got a question. Okay? Because sometimes they might be wrong. So make sure you ask a lot of people and then make sure you ask the questions. Okay? And then just put yourself out of your comfort zone. That's what basically college is for. You're breaking out of your shell. You're making your new self. Nobody cares about what you were in high school. So just put yourself out there. 
So guys, this is it for this dorm guide. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments below. And if you like this guide and want me to make more regarding college or Cal Poly Pomona, just subscribe and then like this video. See you guys later.